up I'm back again with another video so today I'm just getting ready um, I look like crap so I decided I was gonna go ahead and just get cute because I feel like it and we're gonna have a sit down chat um, basically about my first time ever getting a facial I got my first facial for the first time ever yesterday my skin is horrible I got that bad sunburn and then after that my skin's just been out of whack so don't mind all these pimples that are on my face um, those were on there before I went into the facial so I didn't get those from the facial um, but I will <clears throat> be getting ready now so I'm just gonna pop in and speed this up a little bit until I get ready so that we can sit down and have a chat about my first time having a facial so I'll see you in a minute I do also want to note that I have already um, brushed my teeth and washed my face, so I'm not gonna be—you're not gonna be seeing that part. So. I'm still getting used to these layers. Sorry if you hear the TV in the background. I'm watching Gina Janine. If you don't know about her, go follow her. Um, <clears throat> I like watching her, but I'm trying to get used to these layers. I haven't cut my hair in three plus years, probably four. Um, so I'm, uh, it's just, I'm getting used to um, trying to straighten these layers out without them curling back up because I guess I just naturally have wavy hair, so I'm getting used to it, but I still like it. Um, leave some comments down below if you like my new hair, boo. So, <clears throat> my first experience getting a facial. Let's talk about it. So, I was kind of nervous about this um, because I'd never had one. And my skin on my face is just kind of sensitive. Kind of sensitive. So, what I mean by kind of sensitive is like, I can't wash my face with soap and... Um, like different type of cleansers and stuff like that. Whenever I do that, it literally will break my face out the next day. I will get breakouts all over. So, and I'm not like real educated on like skincare. So I was like, I gotta do something, especially after I got that sunburn. When I got that sunburn, I was like, I have to rehydrate my skin. It's going through it. So, I decided to get a facial and I tried out um, this company that's near me um, it is the Fizz Facial Bar and give me just a second I forgot my little pamphlets I'll be right back. To help me out I went with my friend um, and we went there and 
before that, my mom had called me and I told her I was going to get a facial and she was like, oh my God, good luck. I heard they hurt. And I'm like, what? I was confused. I was like, hurt? Pain? I didn't want that. But I think it was um, what they mean by hurt is like, um, sometimes the chemical peels can hurt, I think. is I haven't had one. Don't quote me. I haven't had one. So, but I think the chemical peel hurts. Not hurts, like pain, like, oh my God, it's unbearable. But I mean, like, there's a little discomfort or something. Um, and then there's other ones that are like, they got a little burning or tingling sensation to it. So, um, and maybe the um, extractions is what she's talking about. I don't know. I didn't have none of that. So, um, I went and, um, when I got there, she asked me if like what my skin type is, like, what, is there any problem areas? Is there something I want to target? Is there, what, what, what am I there for? Basically? I didn't know. I don't know. I just, I told her, you know, I can't, she asked me what my, um, my facial routine is like, like when I wash my face and I was like, Ugh water in a washcloth like i don't there's nothing that i can wash my face with because i break out the next day and she did mention that some bodies react differently to that stuff and they'll break out because they're in shock and um it will cause you to break out but after you continuously do the same routine it will stop um but my breakouts are very painful she was like, okay, um, this is what we're gonna do. All right, so I went and got my laptop. We're gonna log in here and see uh, the different types that they have. All right, so services. Okay, so the facial that I got was called the Hydrocalm. So she basically said my skin type was compromised so that means that it's it's like i told her i have oily skin on my cheeks and my chin but i have really really dry skin in my eyebrows and in my hairline on my forehead like i even peel i, I like i have dandruff in my eyebrows so i i didn't know how to like care for my skin because if i moisturize too much i will get oily and then if i don't i will dry up and flake everywhere i like it's just it's disturbing so she told me that I should get a Hydrocalm, which is, it does, is hydrate and soothe while cooling, calming, and nourishing. Um, so I got that. So she put um, this serum on my face and it was kind of warm. I think it was actually oil. Um, rubbed my face like that, like rubbed it in. Um, and then um, she rubbed that in. And then she, when she stopped, she put on witch hazel on my face. And after that, she wiped it off. And she told me she was gonna put this type of um, cream or some type of facial serum on my face. And it was going to be, it was gonna give me like a tingling sensation. She was like, it's kind of like getting icy hot. So it'll get real warm and then it'll cool off and it'll feel real nice. So I was nervous. If y'all don't know about Icy Hot, Icy Hot can be very painful in some areas. So immediately I think back to what my mom said and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to burn. I'm going to jump out of this chair and I'm going to freak everybody out because at the facial place, we're all sitting at a bar and they're doing our face like that instead of being in separate rooms. Like they do have private rooms, but they only have one. And I was with my friend, so it was like either she wait for me for an hour and then I wait for her for an hour, or we both sit there next to each other at this bar in front of everybody and get our faces facialized and just deal with it. So we get done at the same time. But I um, was super nervous, but she was like, just let me know if it's too much and I can wipe it off. I was like, okay. So she started it on my face and immediately I started feeling this burning sensation and I was like, oh my God, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. You know how those like memes where it's like, who could take a tattoo better, women or men? And for some reason, women just 
they just rock that shit like it don't hurt. I feel like it's because women have so much to prove. So they don't like to show pain because we're considered weak or we're considered emotional. So I was like, I'm not gonna fucking back out of this. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just deal with it. You got this, Bridget, you got this. You can get through this. So it burned and burned and burned and burned. And she asked me, she was like, on a level of like one to 10, where is the uncomfortable level? And I'm like, Shh, girl, it's a three. It's a three, hands down. She's like, good, good, you're taking this very well. Which it wasn't bad, it was just like Icy Hot, so it was um, very, very, very warm and um, to a point to where like it just wouldn't go away. And then I started to feel the ease, like the coolness on my cheeks it started because my forehead was still burning. So she went from down, to from my chin up. So my cheeks got cold before my chin did. So my cheeks started getting cold and I was like, oh my God, this is gonna feel amazing. It's so refreshing feeling and it was, I loved it. And I continued to go on my forehead and I was like, oh my God, that was so worth it. It was so worth the little bit, of, it wasn't even pain. I wouldn't even say it was pain. It was just a little discomfort, like the fact that it was warm, but it wasn't nothing I couldn't handle. It was just weird to feel on my face. I don't know if you all have ever put icy on on your face, but I have not. So my face was new to that. So she put that on my face. Um, it felt really good after it started cooling. So then she put, I believe it was this moisturizer. It's called Glow Skin Beauty Oil-Free Moisturizer for Oily Skin. She put that on my face and it smells so, it smells so, I don't even know how to describe the smell. I just was like, oh my God, that smells so good. So she put that on my face and then she started with the cryo globes, which are basically frozen globes that they put on your face and they, it's supposed to tighten up your skin. So she started doing that on top of that glow moisturizer and it felt so good. I don't think you guys understand. Like that was my favorite part. When she put those cryo globes on, I was like, okay, that feels like heaven, especially they're frozen especially after the icy hot on my face. I'm just like, oh. that was amazing. I loved it. And then after that, she wiped it off. Um, while while the um, icy hot, I'm just gonna call it icy hot. <laughs> I think it's called fire and ice. I don't know, something that it, it resembled icy hot. Um, after she put that on me, she immediately started, she put o warm oil on her hands and started massaging my neck and my shoulders. And after she, like when she did that girl, I was about to sleep. <laughs> uh, finally, she stopped doing that. And uh, when she did that, she ran her hands, like like we have these like bands on our forehead to like get, I guess, keep the stuff out of our hair. And she like rubbed her fingers lightly on the band part and like just barely rubbed it like this. Oh my God, it felt so good. I, I know why y'all go to get facials because honey, when we first walked in, they asked us if we wanted a blanket and the water. I ain't never had that treatment. What, a blanket? I was like, ah, no. I would have took advantage of it though, but it was a good like 95 degrees that day. So I was hot. I don't want your blanket at this point. And it wasn't even really cold in there. As a matter of fact, my hands were sweating, but I don't know if that was because I was hot or if it was because I was nervous. So, um, so they did that. Um, and then she wiped everything off. Um, and she told me that she talked to me about my skin and like a routine I could do. She took me over to their area with all their, with all their products and stuff. That's where I got this free thing here. Um, the products are kind of expensive. Getting a facial is kind of expensive. Um, but I was like, you can't pass that up. My, my, I got this yesterday. I left, I think it was that moisturizer on my face all day. I did wake up in the middle of the night and my chin started itching right here a little bit. So I did get up and wash my face again. I didn't wash my face before I went to bed just because I was super tired and fell asleep. But, all right, y'all, I took the little clip down. I just, I don't know. I felt like I looked like a three year old. So she showed me all her products and stuff like that. And when I went to go check out, um, my bill was actually 67 with a tip 
I tipped like eight dollars, eight fifty, I think. But I asked her, I was like, look, um, because she told me she wanted me to come back in the next or come back once a month. So but the next three times I should continue to get that hydro hydro calm that I got. And I um, then after that I should get a chemical pill to reset my face. So I'm going to do that. But I asked her, I was like, I see that you have a club thing because there was like a little chalk for with like the club perk. And the club perk this month was hydro globes or hydro globes, the cryo globes. So I was like, okay, what is that? Like, tell me more about this club. Like I might be more interested in that. So mind you, I paid $67 today. She was like, okay, if you want to get the club, wait till your next appointment so that you're not paying for both. You can pay, um, to start, it's $43 a month for me to go and I get a um, monthly facial credit. So I choose from a free classic bar, classic bar facial or a $15 advanced bar facial upgrade, or I pay the difference for the elite facial. I also get a 10% off any additional services, 10% off add-ons, 10% off retail anytime you shop, $15 birthday credit, uh, monthly, member perk private events and exclusive specials and gift facial credits to i can gift my facial credits to friends and family and this is their logo it was really it was really nice and i liked them i liked the lady that did my facial she was the girl that was doing my friend's facial don't get me wrong she was super sweet and super nice but when I'm getting a facial, when I'm getting a facial, like I get facials 24 seven all the time. Um, when I've seen people get facials or talk about facials, they're not being talked to, they're um, relaxing. They're like in the zone, you have your eyes closed, you're relaxing, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a relaxing moment. But the girl that was giving my friend a facial, what, she literally talked from the moment we sat down on those chairs to the moment we left, out the door, out the door, not when we went up to pay, out the door. That's when she stopped talking. But my facial person, my esthetician, my esthetician, um, she was super nice. She was quiet, she talked quiet. She was just, I liked her and I was like, you know what? I got her card on the way out so that anytime I book in advance, I can book with her. But all in all, my first facial experience, it was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. And it made me feel so good. So like, I feel like people should do things for themselves at times. I feel like a lot of people get caught up um, providing for others or for doing for others and forget to self-love and forget to take care of like take care of yourself do something for you so yesterday when I got my facial I just it made me feel so much better I mean like I don't know if you all realize I got my hair cut I've tried to come on here looking better <laughs> than I was in the beginning but this is just who I am I just don't wear a lot of makeup um, and I don't do my hair a lot, so this is just who I am. <laughs> You're lucky, I, you got this. But um, after I got my facial, I was like, I wanna continue to do this for me and have something for me to look forward to, to um, enjoy and treat myself to. So I'm going to start, I did go get my nails done too, um, a while back, like a week ago. And then I got my facial, and then I got my toes done, which I'll pop in a little video of me getting my toes done here. Um, that was also done yesterday. But I just feel like people should do more for themselves to make themselves happy, to make themselves feel good. Because after I did all that for myself, I felt amazing. I feel so much better today. Like I just feel like I took care of myself. I made my, my soul happy because I did something for me. And now that doesn't mean go out and be selfish and only do for you. I'm just saying that every now and then you should take a moment out to do something for yourself. So that's what I did and I really enjoyed it. Um, 
but that's gonna be all for this video guys um i hope you all liked it i hope you it was good information for you guys to see to hear um i wish i would have got clips uh, of me getting my facial but it was my first time going ever and then my first time ever going to this place so i didn't want to come in there and like be like oh can i record this oh can i record this oh can i record this also by the way did you all like my gym vlog that i did um tell me if you all liked that if you want to see more videos like that out in public um just let me know but make sure you guys like comment subscribe you hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time i post a video and make sure you're dropping comments down below to let me know if you like these videos if you um if there's something you want to see if you want me to do a review on something let me know um i like to hear from you guys and i'll post out more videos and bring those to you so thank you guys so much for watching bye guys mm -hmm.